You guys should better prepare some popcorn because this is gonna be a long ass video. The Public Combinator here brings you guys another bombastic Call of Duty 4 video. It's been many months since I've uploaded a Call of Duty 4 video. I actually have been playing Call of Duty 4 for quite some time. It's one of my favorite Call of Duties hands down and this and we're actually playing this on one of the best maps of all time in, in Call of Duty history, the Shipment. I think the map is called Shipment. And uh, it's really small and it's really fun and sometimes even competitive when you play it with uh, with not a lot of players, just a few. And it's, re it's really fun just searching for them and taking them out and scrolling and kill streaks. Everything is just really fun about this map. I really enjoy playing on it. And Call of Duty 4 is an overall really good game. I love playing it when I'm re when I'm bored and just an awesome game to play. But when I was playing Call of Duty 4 some time ago, just like a sparkle, like an idea in my mind popped up. Like, why don't I, why don't I make a video about every Call of Duty I own and tell people what, what I liked about the game when it was released, when I first played it, and what has changed since then. And, uh, you know, I thought that would be like a great idea for a new series. So, why not? Like, Call of Duty Ghost is going to be reached like in three or two months, and uh, it's really not that, it's really not that far away, and uh, this, this would be some really good experience for me, just getting ready for the new Call of Duty, playing some older games, uh, talking about them and analyzing them, I think it would be some pretty good stuff. So, so let's get right into the video about Call of Duty 4. Just like I said in the introduction, in this commentary, I'm going to be talking about Call of Duty 4, how I felt about the game when it was just released after a few years of the release, and now. So let's get right into the video. So what I felt about the game when it was just released. Well, you know, I think it was 2007 and I was really young. I don't remember much stuff from that time, but one thing, uh, I remember one thing for sure. The graphics of Call of Duty 4 impressed me a lot like literally a lot that was one of the best looking games out there in my memory call of duty 4 has always been a game with phenomenal graphics for the release date and um, i'm pretty sure that most people will agree with me but i understand if some people may disagree because i'm pretty sure it's all about the personal opinion some people like the graphics of call of duty 4 some people don't but in my opinion if you if you compare it to something like counter strike source then in my opinion, Call of Duty 4 just takes the advantage of that. And Call of Duty 4 graphics, at least in my opinion, are even comparable to some of the modern games. I don't want to say any examples so I don't get bashed with hate comments and stuff like that. But anyway, the fact stays fact, Call of Duty 4 had amazing graphics uh, for the day when it was released. And I liked it a lot. Well, back, back in the days, um, in 2007, when the game was released, to be exact, I didn't play the multiplayer of the game. So I can't really judge about that. I was like really young, uh, like literally very young. I'm 15 now, so you can calculate how much uh, how much years of difference are there. But um, I'm just too lazy to do that right now uh, in the commentary. So yeah, I'm just not gonna do that. So I was really young and I wasn't playing the multiplayer, and it's probably good because I wasn't involved with the community and uh, people would be just hating on me because I'm just a little kid. I was a little kid, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm not anymore, uh, and stuff like that. So I can't judge about the multiplayer, but I can't judge about the single player. And uh, I don't remember much from the story, but I do remember that there was the Captain Price, and uh, I liked him a lot, and uh, I, guess, I guess that's not really that important, but the story mod, I like the story mod a lot. So that pretty much wraps up my thoughts on Call of Duty 4 when I first played it. All of that were just my thoughts that have that had stayed in my memory till this day. So after that, there was a huge break for me in Call of Duty 4, and uh, somehow the Call of Duty 4 just wasn't on my computer for many many years. And then last year in 2012, the beginning of 2012, I think it was the beginning, and a friend of mine from from Norway. His channel will be in the description, his name is Mufos, he gifted me uh, Call of Duty 4, a copy of Call of Duty 4 on Steam so I could just remember everything I, I had played back then and play some multiplayer. So I eventually accepted the gift, said thank you and uh, played Call of Duty 4 and uh, those were the Black Ops times and uh, I wasn't much impressed by the, by the Call of Duty 4 and uh, 
I really wasn't paying that much attention to the gameplay that much. I was really just just going around and shooting people and I can't say it wasn't enjoyable. It was really enjoyable. I was running around and shooting people. And I I really liked that, but I didn't pay that much attention to the gameplay. So overall, the decision, the groundbreaker for me were the graphics, so I stayed with Black Ops and I just didn't play that much of Call of Duty 4. And now I finally realized that it was a big ass mistake. Because this game is just amazing. So that wraps up my thoughts on Call of Duty 4 after a few years of release date. Now, what do I think about the game at the moment? Well, at the moment I think that it's a game with an awesome gameplay, with an epic gameplay, one of the best gameplays of Call of Duty, or of any Call of Duty game. Probably in the gameplay section, Call of Duty 4 uh, just beats any other Call of Duty game. Uh, it can it can compete with Black Ops, the original Black Ops, but it really can't compete with any other Call of Duty game because gameplay in this game is phenomenal. Believe me, if you haven't if you have never ever played this game, then I really just suggest doing that because phenomenal gameplay is phenomenal. It's super balanced, it's competitive, and uh, the kill streaks are so balanced. Everything is just so balanced. Maps are great and. There are, there are dedicated servers for, for PC and the game just feels amazing. When you play it, it feels amazing. And graphics aren't that bad as well. So, basically, when I first bought the game, I liked it a lot. But I didn't play multiplayer. After a few years, I, I got to play the multiplayer, but I wasn't much impressed by it. I only played it for a few hours. But now... I think the game is insane. After playing it for many hours, I can conclude that the gameplay for this game is phenomenal. And I I will probably be playing this game a lot uh, in the future. So anyway guys, this wraps up one of the longest videos ever posted on my channel. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you didn't fall asleep while I was doing this video. And I hope you all watched till the end. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video, I'll see you guys later. In the next video of this series, I'll be covering the Call of Duty World at War. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.